we have 3.7 million farmers and more than 10 million fish farms all across Indonesia. The fish trading market is a $10 billion market already in Indonesia. The feed market is a $5 billion market. But that's only Indonesia. But if we see on the global issues, the aquaculture is a hundreds of billion dollar market. My dream was to operate my own fish farms, a thousand of fish farms, that was my dream. I met many farmers that operate news, 100 ponds, 200 ponds, even 1,000 ponds. And when I spoke to many farmers, I saw similar problems that the farmers faced. All farmers know that the feed cost is the biggest cost. It's 70 to 90% of the total cost, and currently done manually by labor. So the quality of the feed that you produce is really depending on whether the labor feed your fish properly. And from that discussion, impulsively, it's just a spontaneous idea that I pitched to a farmer, hey, what if I can build a machine that you can feed your fish from your phone? And if this problem is the same with all of the farmers, then we even have much bigger opportunity. My name is Gibran Nuzaifa. I'm CEO and co-founder of Efficiary. As a child, I can say that I grew up pretty poor. Both of my parents married quite early, so they didn't settle with uh, economically. But if I remember what it feels like during my childhood, it's all about you know happiness. So that part gave me an idea that it's not always about you know, the wealth, the money, but it's it's about the relationship that we build. When I started my own fish farming back then in college, there's not really an external problems that I, I was trying to solve. It's just about solving my own problems and try to be independent back then when I was in college. But it got me to a realization that the, the massive opportunity of the sector is really big. And that started uh, efficiently from that point. Our approach is really how we can help small scale and smallholder farmers to increase their productivity and provide efficiency on their biggest cost, which is feeding. So that's why we started on building this efficiency feeder. So this is a machine to feed the fish automatically that is connected to the cloud and connected to the sensor that can sense the fish appetite. So it can improve the feed efficiency or the feed conversion ratio, as well as on increasing the growth of the fish so they can shorten the harvest cycles. When they use this kind of technology that is radically affordable, they, they only need to pay $10 per month to use this, they will see that their farming practice is improved because the technology is embedded in their uh, operations. This kind of approach is even more interesting because this technology opening a new doors for us to capture a lot of data information. How many feed that they're using? Uh, what's the feed frequency per day? What brand of feed that they're using? And the farmers can even capture more data information on how many fish that they will be harvesting, how many fish are there. We try to use the data and build credit scoring to connect farmers with the financial institution so they can receive the financing from, from financial institution directly. And we can also use the data to connect farmers to the uh, downstream buyers. So in, all in all, it's all about increasing the profit on the farmers by leveraging the data and technology. Each of the farmers has received many benefits. At least their productivity and their income is increased from 40% to 200%. We saw many farmers that started you know, joining a fishery only on like two ponds, but right now they own 20 ponds. So their productivity and their income increased by 10 times, only joining a fishery in one year. It was really challenging. It was not as easy as I thought it would be. Because when we had the product, when I went to the farmers, the farmers never really understood why they need to use this product. Because most of the farmers are very traditional and they've been doing it for decades. They've been feeding the fish for 20 years and using traditional model. So they don't really know how this helps and whether this replaces labor, and labor is very cheap in Indonesia. But when I asked them why they want to use a fishery, I thought it would be about you know, the technology, you know, the solutions, the benefit of the product itself, but apparently not. And what farmers appreciate is about the community that we need to build, about the sense of belongings on the bigger uh, mission that we have. So I think that's the biggest lesson, that building a business is not just about the numbers and the metrics, but really about the human side and the human relationship that we need to maintain, to build and to scale. 
So if I see fishery contributing to that larger ecosystem and, and see fishery play a role on, you know, feed more people, but also creating a livelihood and also impacting that rural communities. So that's really what, what drives me, what defines my definition of success. So it's not about, you know, the valuation and my own wealth, but it's really about how a fishery can contribute to general uh, you know, success of those communities. We're currently doing a pilot outside Indonesia. We did a pilot in Vietnam. We are currently doing a pilot in India. So we would like to prove the solutions that coming from Indonesian innovators building in Indonesia market can actually take a big role in the global aquaculture market. We're really excited about the future because we're pioneering this sector. We're technically creating this category of, of fish tech, of aquaculture technology that then uh, has a really big upside on, on building the market and building the sector even further. And aquaculture is still currently the fastest growing food sector in the world. So for us, the sky is the limit.